hello my flowers and welcome back to my um page maddie vlogs and does you guys today we are doing a reading for pluto returns okay i cannot sleep i've had visions i've had i don't know how many, i don't know if it's because i've been talking about it so much or because i've been researching about it um it hasn't happened in like over 200 and something years please check out your astrologers see what they have to say see what they're talking about i just want to pull a few cards and see what's going on because a lot of people are worried and concerned about and this includes me worried and concerned about ooh, um what's going to happen with the countries everything that's happening with um other countries and other uh the other side of the world um Listen, I want to know what's going to happen with the world during this Pluto returns. A lot of people are wishing like damnation against America. <sighs> Let's see. And if you guys have, hear any other little noises, Victoria's in our closet um, playing. Yes, yes, she is. <laughs> um... So let's see y'all. Okay. So, so basically we have um, the chariot, you guys. And this is a lot of movements. A lot of things are going to be changing. Some people or sometimes people don't see the chariot card as death. But I, I do hold um, a different interpretation sometimes of the chariot card. Um, to me, um, the chariot card is death. Um, movement of uh, a, some sort of transfiguration, um, of change, of a new arena, um, a new state of being, a new state of, of experiencing life, um, a change in life. And it's going to be for everybody. It doesn't matter what color of skin you are, what race you're under, what culture you're under, what ethnicity you consider yourself. It doesn't matter. It's going to be like across the board. Like if we're going to have like the, the like, a, like a bubonic plague of like change. Um, I know it sounds a little weird, but that's what they just said. It's like a plague of change all across the board. And people have to be ready um, for the change that's coming about in their life you should if you're watching this video even if i get like two views if you're watching this video please prepare yourself for the change that's going on in it's going to happen in your life um sometimes um uh getting out of your comfort zone is sometimes the way out um of achieving your goals and doing what you have to do uh I see like doors are going to open and prosperity will open. So it's not like like fear hunger, like fear based um, type of situations where people are like, oh my God, this is Armageddon. The world is going to end. So many things are going to happen. Um, like, no, the world is not going to end. However, there are going to be disputes. As you see here, the Knight of Swords, he's shooting his shots. There will be disputes. There will be disagreements. There'll be arguments all across the board. But these are things that, um, needed to come out that were in the dark. Um, changes that needed to come out that were in the dark, you guys. And I have here, um, that the men specifically will be going, will be undergoing, um, a series of like unfortunate events, like the masculine energy. I feel like this is going to hit a lot of us. Um, and it's not just, oh, you know, we are, uh, the masculine energies, you know, that represent the, the, the globe. No, I'm talking about like the masculine energy within all of us. Like all of us have testosterone. All of us have estrogen in our bodies. If you're a human, you, th these are things you have. This is the, the anatomy of the human body, um, and our system. So yes, it's going to be disputes that um, is going to bring out a lot of different perspectives, a lot of different trains of thought, because the cards are saying here that the reason why all this stuff is happening is because a lot of us harness and we keep in, and I'm talking about like human beings, we tend to keep in um, what we feel to please other people. There's been a lot of people pleasing throughout the years because of the sensitive topics that are going to come about. And it's not just racism. It's not just segregation. It's not just um, uh, what's happened here in the United States. It's also um, we're going to see situations that have occurred to different 
um, in different eras. Like, for example, like, yes, the Holocaust, of course, we all know was started by um, the uh, agenda of uh, the Soviet Union and, like, their troops and, and what they thought was best at the time. However, what... I feel like the cards are saying here that a lot of the troops that we didn't know about that situation and other genocides that have happened across the globe, um, like the like the Armenian um, genocide, there's going to be ge genocides that also occurred um, uh, in other parts of the countries, uh, like Ukraine, like Russia, different types of countries in the continents of Africa as well, like genocides that have occurred. All of this stuff is energy that's um, staying or that has stayed within us and, and a lot of us have not fought back. No matter how many fights, no matter how many wars we have seen throughout the years, whether it's civil war, whether it's the first or second world war, we have harnessed a lot of energy that has been put inside of us, okay? Or that has been stored inside of us. Um, they're telling me to bring up like the British um, government. A lot of us are going to be disappointed. Um, a lot of us are going to be disappointed because a lot of us don't want to believe the things that have been said about the um, British government or how... Or, or how you know what what's gonna be played out with them or or what's gonna be put on top of the table with them or what's gonna happen what's gonna be their opinion what's gonna be their stance um, when it comes to uh, just world leaders and world governments and things of that nature um, like politics we're going to be very 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 disappointed um, new leaderships that are gonna come about are not ready um, for the drama because they don't come from the era of war um and a lot of us are going to be sideswept with the occurrences that are going to happen with global it, global decisions um a lot of us are focused on oh is this going to be like a one world order blah, blah 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 they're telling me to mention that ah that's not what they're saying it's more of the unity of all elements of all people of all creatures of all living things but a lot of the things that have not been brought out to light have to be brought out to light so they can be um not only discussed but also dealt with um a lot of us don't see the world like that um and it's not going to be joyous occasions. It's not going to bring us joy. A lot of this, um, these these new discoveries are not going to bring us joy. But they also want me to touch on the topic of like our masculine energy. We have to be be careful how we use our power. Um, whether world leaders watch this video, whether it's regular people watching this video, we have to be careful how we harness our our energy and when and when we release it and who do we release the energy to it is imperative that we do that otherwise our joy will be taken away um we will be in balance and that's what's actually been happening um and i feel like the oppositions that are happening in the world when it comes to the politics um, of what's happening across the globe. Um, there's going to be opposition, but there's not going to be as much opposition because um, the world is scared. People are scared of World War III, especially because of the religious fears that have been imposed to another war. Um, but know that a lot of the things that are going to happen is are strategically happening and that were planned i'm talking about this was planned like 10 years ago is what they're saying anywhere between five to ten years ago these positions these oppositions who was going to be on what side what's going to be decided was decided from 10 from five to ten years ago okay guns will be blazing we will be disappointed um and new world leaders that are it doesn't necessarily need to be the young ones they will disappoint because they don't know what to do and they um i feel like a lot of us see them as oh my gosh the new world leaders we have a lot of like um royals that are coming out that are young and they're being trained and we i feel like are putting our faith in them however they have not been trained well enough to live outside of their bubble and it's something that they need to start doing if they're going to handle what is to come um and the wars that are going to come and the disputes that are going to come here we have receiving frequency um 
and the base chakra. This it's it's inevitable. Sorry. For those of us that are scared, war, this, that, that, it's inevitable. In a spiritual level, um, this war is also a war that has to do with um, the inner earth, that has to do with other planets. A lot of us are going to be seeing people like like Elon Musk um, announced that he is um, investing not just in this planet, but he's investing in Mars. He's investing in other planets. People are, there's going to be a time where we're going to invest in purchasing our planets. Now that we are investing in like NFTs and stuff like that, we need to know what those things mean and what that, um, uh, what what's that going to bring to the table for the future um, as far as our finances is concerned and the more electronic um frequencies we get it is all frequency as far as war is concerned it is inevitable you guys um people are giving energy right back and we don't care if we're gonna blow this ship up or what however um it's necessary it is necessary for people to respect other people's territory for people to understand that they also have to get up and fight for themselves um and there's going to be like a turn of events where people feel like, you know, um, the parties that play, like the major parties that play are like um, they have a better, uh, more resources or they have the upper hand. Um, but I feel like they're going to be surprised by the smaller countries and what they also have to give and how they've been preparing as well. So please do um, pay attention to um, situations such as also like global warming. Um, global warming, it, 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 I feel like it's a sense of fear that we have. Um, well, I don't, I don't feel, but we can see that as a sense of fear that humanity has over global warming, but there are secrets in the Arctic. There are things that need to be dismantled, um, that are going to come out with global warming. We need to respect mother nature, but I feel like there are beings, there are things that are going to come out. The more the ice melts, the more the truth, um, smacks us in the face is what they want us to, to know. So as far as like globally, that's what I see. Um, as far as personally, I'm just recapping, um, a lot of changes, death, physical deaths, and also that it's going to be, um, a situation where we are going to be forced to let go or bring things in to be to force ourselves outside of our comfort zone um, and step into the unknown um, and force ourselves to also see things through other people's lenses, not just our own. Um, a lot of the, the younger um, generation, they're very sensitized. They're very sensitive to everything that's, that, that, that is said. You can't call them this. You can't say that. Um, you know, you, you, have to, you, you have to be careful every step of the way. But even me, somebody that's pansexual, I am pansexual, just in case you guys didn't know. Um, I don't feel like um, people should hold back. Even if it's like a racist comment, you know why? Show your true colors so that people know how to deal with you from that point forward. Show who you really are. Okay? And it's something that humans need to learn. We need to show who we really are so that people know how to deal with us and we know how to deal with them. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching, you guys. It's just concerns that I had. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to, like, pull a few cards um, to see what they had to say. So um, may the force be with us all. Um <clears throat> Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and <clears throat> do not forget to water your life. Bye, guys.